Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm doing your weekly readings for the week beginning October 7th, 2019. This will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ooh, and maybe even Cross Watchers, Six of Swords, Two of Wands. As always, just keep it in mind, okay, these are general, they're not going to apply to everyone, definitely not in the same way, and be sure to watch all your signs. So... Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, so Earth Sign Energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn, a decision to make around this person, Ace of Cups, oh. Two of Cups, Eight of Cups, Six of Wands, I do see reconciliation possible for some of you, I think we're going, uh, getting, well, Getting ready to go into, what is it, shadow period for the Mercury retrograde at the end of the month. Definitely getting those kinds of uh, energies coming through here. Ten of Pentacles. Yes, absolutely. And the Three of Wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting, for some of you, you're considering getting back together with someone and people in, in your environment, your friends, your family, they're really not happy about that. Um, for others of you, this is a competition, going for a job and beating the competition because you do have these pentacles with the six of wands here. Okay, so a couple of different scenarios are coming up. I'm going to read the scenarios I see and then I'm going to read the energies as I see them um, so that you can take the energy if I don't necessarily um, talk about your particular scenario, okay? So six of wands with the two of cups. Um, this is about a relationship. Someone moved on, someone moved away, someone left with the Six of Wands because it was just too much. There was a lot of conflict, there was a lot of turmoil, egos were involved, you know, uh, like um, triggering each other. Eight of Cups, someone definitely walked away. Especially if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they're like, this is too much, can't do this. Or they drove you away. Now we have the two of wands, a decision to make about this partnership. They may be trying to come back. So your decision is, your choice is, do I go back or do I turn my back and keep moving in a different direction that I've been in? Okay, in the, in the new direction. Okay, um, this person, they may have fire and water in their chart because I'm seeing this as the same person. So Six of Wands, uh, Aries, Eel, Sagittarius Energy. Um, that could be their sun, their moon, their rising. It's just, you know, take it as it resonates. Um, this is the, the person who was very proud. Yeah. They walked away and now they're trying to come back with these pentacles. And they're talking to you about offers and opportunities, starting over, growing up, you know, or they're telling you I've grown up. I'm a king now, okay, I've grown up, I know what I want, I know I want the Ten of Pentacles, I know I want that with you, okay, and again, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, it could be the same person who's just grown up, who's just matured, okay, maybe they were controlled or controlled, they were ruled by emotion in the past, they were ruled by ego in the, in the past, and the time apart, they've really grown up, so they're coming back as the king and they're coming back as a king of pentacles okay very grounded very stable energy they want a family with you they want the long term with you okay and that's what's on offer ace of cups three of wands and you're beginning in love i like that you have the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups when it comes to love relationships i like the ace of pentacles better than the ace of cups i'm going to tell you why the ace of cups is it's emotion, it's pure emotion, it's love, it's dreamy, it's romantic, when it's just the two of you. It struggles to live in the, in the real world, it struggles, okay? These are, the Ace of Cups can sometimes lead to those situations where we say, you know what, unfortunately, love was just not enough, okay? It's Pentacles on the other hand, 
still a brand new beginning, but this has been thought out. This is grounded. This is not, you know, impulsive or being ruled by emotion. This is having the emotion, absolutely. But being a lot more grounded, stable, thinking things through. Not just, oh my God, I love you forever. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Ace of Cups is rather the beginning stages within a relationship and sometimes it can't move forward if it stays in the Cups energy. Whereas the Ace of Pentacles is more grounded, stable. You can plant seeds that will last the test, uh, test of time. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So you have both. All right. So you're dealing with someone where the love is still very much there. But one of you or both of you have done a lot of growing up. The childish games are no longer going to be a problem. It's just not worth it anymore. You want to work together. You want to build this. So that's really good. Really, really nice energy here. Okay, definitely uh, looking at reconciliation under these terms. If the, someone's coming back and they're the exact same person and they're playing mind games with you and they're playing ego games with you, you're not losing anything out by, by um, you know, telling them no thank you. Um, for others of you, this is a brand new connection. They can only come in if you are letting go of the past. Of this type of person, egotistical, narcissistic, childish, okay? If you let go of this person, someone new is trying to come in that is mature, that will give you what you want, the happily ever after, what you deserve, that will build, invest, okay, with you. So just take that for what it's worth. Because um, you have a choice, okay, between just going with emotion, where you feel like you can't control your emotions, like they rule you, like you don't get a say in what your heart tells you to do. It's like, I just have to do it. We've all been there. This is not judgment. I'm a Pisces son, I've been there so many times I can't even tell you, where I'm like, I don't care, I'm following my heart, I'm doing what makes me happy and it gets me into trouble sometimes, okay, because I go against my better judgment. Um, and this feels like that type of situation. Choosing that or choosing these pentacles where this is someone new, grounded, realistic, practical, dependable, okay. So think about it, what you want to do. It'll be different for everyone, and at the end of the day, you do have to do what you think is best for you. This is great news for money, job, business, home, with the Ace of Cups. Okay, this is a new job. It may involve travel, or it may come with a, a car, company car, or something like that. It allows you to, you may be handing in your notice during this time okay because the news comes in yes you got it so you're handing in your notice you're victorious you beat out the competition and you can be with this company with this new within this new company not this role because you can grow in it but you can be within this company for a long time you can retire from this company if that's what you want and you have a lot of opportunities to grow in the meantime okay this is definitely a long-term type of investment and it is divinely guided for you For some, you're moving in together with someone, whether it's a friend or a romantic partner, you're moving in together. You're getting the loan, you're getting the mortgage or the support from the government. If it's your you know, first house or something like that, look at all sorts of programs that are available. But you're taking the first steps towards the future you want. And that's beautiful, okay? Very, very nice reading. Very nice energy. Really loving this for you. So Libra, let me know what this is about for you. How's it going? What are these cards talking about for you if they're talking to you? Um, if not, remember to watch all your other signs, okay? But definitely use the energy. Make the most of it. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.